you fucking <gasps> bitch. I will kill you personally. Vi, what happened? Are you okay? Violet, talk to me. We're she probably doesn't like me. I looked for you. When they grabbed me, I saw you let them take me. I didn't. Am look, I supposed I didn't. to forget that because you're here now? Some fucking friend you are. Lewis wouldn't have stood a chance against these guys. I knew you could fight back. <laughs> yeah, sure. What's Violet, wrong with I'm you, Violet? I, 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 Come on, let's get the hell out of here. How about her girlfriend is a no, freaking bitch? Man. I'm done. This whole situation is so fucked. At least here I have Minnie. You mean <gasps> Minnie that betrayed us? Don't act like you know her. She tried to escape. Her and Sophie. They said if I fight back, they'd kill Minnie. Or one of you. All you've done is get us hurt or killed. If you fuck this up worse, I'll stop Violet, you myself. I'm Violet, I'm trying to I help you. I don't think I won't. I'm not losing her again or anyone else. We can't give up now. If they take us back to their community, we'll all die. So what? Your plan is to speed up the process. Whatever you do, leave me out of it. Violet, I am not leaving you behind. What happened to Violet and A uh, Lewis and AJ, though? Are they in the cell, or are they... Violet, I wasn't trying to... It was a shit choice! It was a shit choice. I wanted to save both of you. Violet, come on. Fuck off. Violet, it was a shit choice. I was given a shit hand. There they are. They're in the cell. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here. Thank God. Is Vi all right? Yeah, well, she's pissed she's at me. She won't help us. What the shit? Are you serious? Ugh. We're not moving yet, so at least we've got some time. I guess. Have you told a Sim and Omar about the plan? Louis, are you all right? <laughs> me? Yeah, I'm fine. Just trying to figure out the best way to survive an explosion. Hmm. You doing That's a okay tough one. AJ? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. How are you holding up? Lily. She scares the shit out of me, Clem. Yeah, she does Earlier, that. she came down to talk. Fuck. I don't think I've ever been that afraid. She's not messing around. We'll be home soon. Just hang in there. Omar? Omar, are you hurt? Let's just get out of here, okay? We will. I really wish there was more with Omar. Alright, so it looks like that's gonna be it. Can't talk to anyone else, and there's nothing else here. Fucking Minnie. Fucking Violet. We're not staying here that long. Trophy urn tally. Looks like there's a gap here. <sighs> Too small to fit my hand through. Didn't I already look at the sheet metal? Hmm. If I can't fit my hand through, maybe AJ can. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. 
AJ, do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Is this gonna work? Does he have the strength to do it? Oh, look at that, he did. Okay, cool. It's a shiv. Come on, Vi. Oh, come on. It was... I didn't want you to get captured. Fucking minute. God damn it. I am going to kill that bitch myself. And if I has a fucking problem with it, well then fuck you. Hey! Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you. It ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. So, a boat works, huh, Lily? Please give me a sassy response. Where's Please him? give me that. He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Hey, AJ, shut it. Fuck, you little monster. Damn it. AJ, stop talking. No, it was mercy. It was mercy. We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Basha! Grab it, 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 grab it. Minerva. Or Open the door. Yes, ma'am. AJ, it's ten, man. Come on, you're doing this to your fucking brother. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. I am not dying. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organize these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta it might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. Look, if I'm the one you want, let the others go. This isn't a negotiation. This is me telling you how things are going to be. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, uh... no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. That seems like a pretty stupid way to make a point. It was extreme. But I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults. But he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the parable of the twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place would place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. 
They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. You're having them All fight in a goddamn war! That they helped defend the group. You, you see, took them against their place will. had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting, or they'd lose everything they built. Their crops, their power, even their lives. Kidnapping people and forcing them to fight? Sounds like slavery to me. Call it whatever you want. They were helping each other survive. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a rat and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. What? Shit, Minnie. What the fuck? Is that true? Your own sister? Why would you do that? I'm going to fucking kill this bitch she so hard. Her head with her lies. And I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. You are fucking like insane. Not, I will fucking you're slit one your of throat. My people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one? Or the dead one. You, you brainwashed her. You people are fucking sick. Y'all better back away from the door. I'll be the one who breaks out at night and cuts your throat while you sleep. <sighs> kind of what I expected you to say. But you'll see, I'm not kidding around. If you pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop. Hey! Don't hurt Lewis, or I'll hurt you. Hey, With yo, what? You better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck, 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 fuck! You're not... No, come on! Easy. Stay still. No, 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 please! Come! What? Come on! Stop! Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Come on. Just breathe. Don't get hurt, AJ. Oh shit, he's fighting. AJ. Oh. Mike Tyson her. Stop. He bit me. I said that's enough. You deserve to die. We'll kill you! You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river, and we'll put a knife right to the side of your head! Big talk for a little guy. I know I can do it. I killed Marlon. He wasn't a monster, but you are! Dang. So you killed Marlin. Huh. I bet you'd make a great soldier. Lily, please, don't hurt AJ. You want. Clem seems to care about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. It's us. <laughs> don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clem inside! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Shit! Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that! I'll look at you any Please, fucking sorry. way I will! Are you serious right now? After everything you're... she's done, you're just gonna help her? Fuck you! Grab the knife, and I'll stab her in the throat right now. What the hell happened to you? You killed Sophie. What the fuck? You just 
decided, hey, I'll work for these people. They seem friendly enough. Violet, what the hell? Out. I will kill every single one on this fucking boat. Oh God, Lewis. No, no, no. Wait, that's not what I. Dorian, no! Now's the time. Grab the knife and stab her in the head. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Violet, we have to go. No. Then die here. There's a bomb on the boat. Fuck you. There's a bomb. Mitch is dead. You just. Fucking go! Fine, we die to here. Out of here now. Go. I need to find I'll go with my boyfriend. I, I can. Uh, I'll be fine. Better see you on land. I would have taken that crossbow. Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Found one when more food, sneaky comfortable for you and Clem, you can even share Ten! Ten? Oh no! Fuck. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. All of them. Found mid. No wonder there were walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or what type of idea? Nothing to say. You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? You force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit immunity. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. Kill it. No! Shit. Fuck. You see their ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter. This whole situation is fucked. Why don't we all just take a breath? All right. Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or or else. Ah uh, shit. Ten behind you. Fine. Go ahead then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please, don't! No! <laughs> Jesus, he's fighting. Now's the chance! Let's go! Release the big tail. Oh. Ah, shit. Oh. 
Ah, that didn't work. Get up, get up, get up, get up! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh god damn it! You've made a big fucking fucking way! Come on, kill now! Go for it, my god. Bang. AJ, wait! I give up! I will give up! Put down the gun! I'll let everyone leave! My crew and I will leave! We won't bother you anymore! Oh. AJ! She's not a threat! Lower the gun! You weren't down there! You didn't see what she did! She tried to cut us all up! You don't have to do this, please! It's a trick! Don't you fucking dare, AJ! I don't trust her for shit. Sorry, James. Give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. James, I, I will not do it, AJ. let her live. No. And just like that, Okay, now that's a bit too much. AJ, stop! Lily, we couldn't find the other... What did you do? You were fucking dead! And... there's the explosion. Shit, the bomb! AJ! Ah. Oh. Trophy earned leader. Oh, God, that's how you're ending it. The still not bitten team. My fucking heart. I can't take this right now. My fucking goddamn heart. Choices. I gotta get through this. You and 93% of players. Mercy killed Abel 7%. Forced Abel to turn Sometimes into a walker. I don't know where this dirty road is taking me. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know the reason why. So I guess I keep gambling lots of moves. You and 94% of players respected James' beliefs and killed no walkers. 3% killed some of the walkers. 3% ignored James' wishes and killed all the walkers. You and 60% of 60 slain the bomb. Mish's masterpiece. 10% Ruby's revenge. 7 time Willie Jr. for AJ. He beat her with a belt once close she cried. She told him. 78 allowed Dorian stopping her from cutting off your friend's fingers. 22% of players stopped AJ and let Dorian cut off your friend's finger. God damn it, they actually cut off a finger. Thank God. So what? She lost an ear. She's not gonna need it, she's dead. You and 50% of players told AJ to kiss Lily. <sighs> She cleaned me out and she hit it on the side Well, I tried to kill the pain I bought some wine to hop the train Well, it was easier than just a way to Lewis, M-I-A Lewis was delighted when you decided to go on a date with him. Lewis was touched that you wanted to hear why he was sent to Erickson. Lewis was calmed when you were sympathetic to his story about how he was sent to Erickson. Lewis was thankful when you... 
When you let AJ stop Dorian and from cutting off his fingers. <sighs> Minerva, MIA. I hope that says dead in the next episode. Minerva felt righteous when you called her out for sounding like Lily. Minerva was dejected when you said Ten would be ashamed to call her sister. Minerva felt heartsick after learning Ten forgave her. And yet, she still fucking did it. AJ, M-I-A. AJ felt conflicted after you killed Abel, sparing him from turning. AJ was disillusioned when you said you didn't believe you could be together as walkers. AJ felt powerful after you told him to shoot Lily. James, MIA. James was thankful that you respected his beliefs and spared the walkers. James was disenchanted that you didn't see there being more to walkers. James was devastated that you told AJ to kill Lily. Sorry, James, but she can't live. Now I Dead. You felt assured when you promised him mercy. Ten MIA. Ten was grateful when you stood up for him against Lily. Ten was grateful when you promised to tell Minerva you forgave her. Lily, dead. Lily was unfazed by your threat to kill her after she tried to threaten you into cooperation. Violet, MIA. Violet blew off your reasons for not saving her. Violet despises you after her capture. I will earn, I will do everything in my power to earn her forgiveness, but if she doesn't want it, then not my problem. The state of the school. Omar and Asim are MIA. Rosie is worried about everyone. Willie was excited that you wanted to name the bomb. Ruby was proud you did not recognize her official Erickson evaluation. Oh wow, you can actually collect a lot. You can collect the wind chimes? Alright. Teaser, something, anything? Something to give us anything? Other than a release day for March 26th? No. Of course you can't. Oh, God, no. This can't be it. Oh my god, that was such a good episode. I fucking loved it. But holy fuck. Yes, I named my save file Metallica, so fucking what? Oh my god. That fucking Lisa. God damn it. That fucking Lee scene killed me. Minerva, I told you she was evil. I told you guys she was evil. And I... She's fucking dead right there. She's fucking dead. I swear to God. And Violet, I'm sorry, but... What did you want me to do, huh? It was a lose-lose situation. I went with... <sighs> sorry, man. Lily's fucking dead. Lily is fucking dead. It is official. Clem is the only season one survivor left alive. She's the only one in the motel group still alive. Lee's gone, Ben's gone, Kenny's gone, Couch is gone, Duck's gone, Glenn, he, even though he was part of it for like five minutes, is gone. Doug's gone, Carly's gone, everyone's fucking gone except my girl, Clem. And I don't know after next episode if that's still going to be the case. God, I'm scared. March 26th, the final episode ever. And I don't just mean of the final season, I don't mean of Clem's Ham's journey, this is the actual final, official, telltale episode ever to be made. God, what a good episode, but all I can think about is the fear. All, everyone's MIA, we don't know how bad that explosion was, Clem's obviously gonna be alive. We gotta know what happened at that ranch, AJ's gotta live. Lewis has to live, please tell me Lewis lives. I want Violet to live. I want to earn her forgiveness, her trust back, but that's going to be hard, man. Not after this. After this, man. Minerva, I hope died. I fucking hope she's dead. Ten needs to live. I hope James lives and he can come back. I just, I am so scared. Fucking hell, March 26th. That's two months. That is two months. Are you kidding? I'm already making preparations. I'm making sure I don't have anything scheduled for that day. I'm going to have, like, a box of tissues. Oh, my God. I'm s I want to get a webcam going for that, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that set up. But in terms of the overall episode, so much of that was fantastic. I wonder how the Violet route plays. I wonder if Lewis, because of his demeanor, is a little more forgiving. 
I can understand partly why Violet is like this because this is Minerva and she wants to be with her girlfriend. But at the same time, I'm like, still though, Violet, come on, help us out, please, help a sister out. I wonder how Lewis is in this route if you uh, get, let him get captured. Is he as angry as you? Or is he angry at you as well? Or is he more forgiving because he understands why you would let him get captured after everything he's done? Even if you did forgive him. And just because of his nature would feel weird to be that angry and even side with Minerva and Lily and stop us like Violet did. Fucking Violet! Why? That Lee scene was glorious. That Lee scene was fucking glorious. It really was. And when she became her 60, her modern self, her present day self, that just killed me. That fucking killed me. That whole scene just murdered me. Ah, oh, God. And I am not ready for March 26th. God, thank you so much for watching. I really don't know what else to say. I need to recover from this. I need to... I need to... I need to recover. God damn it. Fucking cliffhanger. And just for one last time, well, not one last time, I'm going to be saying this until the day I die. Thank you so much, Skybound, for finishing this. Thank you for getting some of the team back. Thank you for everything that you've done. Oh, oh please don't kill my baby girl. Please don't kill my sweet pea. Please don't do this to me. All that foreshadowing in this episode, I can't... My heart can't take it. I can't lose Clem. You can't do that to me. <sighs>